Hey everyone, so today we're going to make a no sew apron. So we're going to be making some videos with Migos Alice and we thought we would make her a new apron. So we've picked out a couple of scrap fabrics. So to get started, Reason is going to take her apron off. We can take her apron off? Yeah, take her apron off. And we are going to make her a, a new little, apron. Yes. The first thing you want to do is draw yourself a pattern. That way, if you want to make more aprons, you know exactly how you did it. And it doesn't hurt to have the pattern laying around. Okay, so to draw her pattern, we are going to lay her on the paper. And I like the paper with the lines in it. One inch squares it makes it a little bit easier to measure. My husband got this for me from his work. Office Depot. You can pick it up there. I'm marking where her shoulders are and then the bottom of her dress. And then I'm gonna mark center and draw her little Alice face. And then I can go in and draw the size of the apron. Now we're going to be gluing down the sides, so we have to allow one fourth inch extra. If we were sewing, we'd call it a seam allowance, but since we're going to glue the sides of her apron, we will call it a glue allowance. Now that I have the basic size of the apron, I'm going to cut out the pattern. As you can see, I decided to add a little bit more at the top. When drawing patterns, you really just have to trust yourself and do what you think is going to look best. Now it's time to cut out the pattern and I'm just using a fabric marker to trace the shape. You can use anything that will write on the fabric. With this project, because we're going to glue it down, I'm not worried about the fabric marker showing through. If it was a shirt or maybe a pair of pants, I would probably be using something that would come off. Because we decided to make several aprons in this video, to speed things up, I'm going to cut two at a time. Now to the fun part. So we picked out our string. We're using embroidery thread. You could do elastic. You could do ribbon. We've also cut out a little felt pocket and a heart. This is your time to be creative and use what you have. Is the glue we'll be using. Um, Walmart sells it, craft stores sell it, and it works really well. We have found that the easiest way is to use a paintbrush and paint the glue on so it keeps it nice and thin. Step one is to glue down the top of the apron. Put glue on about one fourth inch and fold it down. Now moving to the bottom, one fourth inch and fold it down. Next step is to glue down both sides. Okay, so last step is to attach your string you're going to do this by gluing down the final two sides. Be sure and leave enough string to tie in the back. If you've chosen to work with string or ribbon, you'll want to leave plenty at the top because you will have to tie it as well. 
Now if you went with elastic, then you can just leave enough to go over your figure's hair and head. Now we're going to get the rest of the aprons put together. If you've chosen to work with a fabric that does not fray, like the denim, you only have to glue the top and then the top sides that hold down your string. Another fun tip for working with denim is you can add holes. Do this by cutting small slits, three to four, and then you can scrape that with your nail or use the tip of your scissors. These are our aprons all done. Alice is all done and ready to head to the kitchen. Let us know in the comments which apron you liked the best. Just remember to be creative and have fun. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.